So my partner in crime, Bart Scott, <laughs> joins us here on the show. Bart, how are you, buddy? I heard you listen, man. I never watch, you know, the show and watch TV at this time, ever. I'm so happy to be sitting here with my kids, and I and my daughter come in and say, Daddy, they talk about your TV. <laughs> So, so Damon Harris doesn't know who I am. Damon he says Harris, yes. He does not know who you are. Damon Harris, who trained with me, Damon Harris, who shared the same um, agent as me, doesn't know who I am. Wow. You know, how quick that's going to be. And no, I'm not playing fantasy football, uh, Rashad Jennings. I'm playing, I'm playing real football with my DJs. We played at the same time. Um, see, that's what happens when you take clip notes. And, and to Damon Harris, what I'm trying to say, what I was trying to articulate, was that if he gets caught on the field in a three-wide situation, he only has a couple of pass rushes in him. We see defensive linemen struggle and people try and get off the field. But with Aaron Rodgers, he, he can run the same offense, spread you out, and run all the run plays out of a spread formation and not allow you to get off the field, which will have your tongue out. You know, Damon Harris is a powerful player, never known for his endurance and cardio. You know, so that's what I'm trying to say. This is a bad matchup. They wanted the Green Bay Packers. They've already lost to the Green Bay Packers. They can't, you know, this is a bad matchup. They should have preferred to play the Detroit Lions because that's a better matchup for them. And when I talk about playing real teams, I'm talking about this is the playoffs. You're playing the cream of the cream. You're playing the best teams left in the tournament. This, is a, this isn't a team that's going to fold. This isn't a team that's going to succumb to pressure. This is a real football team with the hottest quarterback in the business. If they're not concerned, they should be. So when Damon Harrison says, who's that? If I knew that guy, I might be offended. I don't know who he is. Did he play in the Come league? On, Never heard of him. He, so he's lying. He's he knows who you are. He's just bent out of shape. Yeah, he's he, he, he in his feelings. Congratulations on the All-Pro and all that good stuff. But come on, man. Yeah, you... you you come out of, a, out of a comic book if you're trying to act like you don't know who I am. So here's the one thing that I disagreed with you on the air, and that you say that beating the Cowboys aren't a real team. I mean, is that fair to say they're one of the best teams in the NFL? I know that they're familiar with I'm the not, Giants. I'm not, I'm not saying they're not a real team. I'm not saying they may not be the best team still left in the NFC. What I'm saying is you have a familiarity with them. You're always going to play them close because of the familiarity. You're playing the Green Bay Packers, somebody that's not in your conference, is a lot difficult because you don't know the people that, who have ascended on that team. You don't know, okay, this is maybe a guy that you're going to overlook in a scouting report because you're not familiar with them. You know, for us, it was Brad Smith. We played teams and they were familiar with us. They may have played us before, but then Brad Smith or, or Dustin Keller sneaks out and makes the big play. In the playoffs, it's about the unsung heroes. Those are the guys that win the game. Those are the guys that make the plays that, that break your back. Because if you put a great scheme together, you can take away the star. But it's the unsung hero. For us, it was, it was Brad Smith. It was Sean Green. Players that people didn't know. So for the, for, for the Green Bay Packers, it may be somebody else. Bad matchup. It's always going to be easier to play somebody within your division because you, you understand and, and have a familiarity with them. Yeah, but your direct quote was, when was the last time they played a real team? That's a direct quote, Bart. Yeah, it, it is. Real team. When I say real team, I say discount. You know, the 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 uh, Redskins and discount the teams within their division that they play. That's what I mean by real team. And then you go back over that. They play. The, I said numbers can always lie. Because just because you have the best defense statistically doesn't mean you're the best defense. Because other people could have played, you know, teams that – that, that maybe put up some yards, but now a better football team. And it all depends on when you play. It's not about who you play all the time. It's when you play them. And you can play a team that ends up with a great record, but was struggling or were injured you know, during the time when you play them. I know that you know a bunch of former Giants. I don't know if you know any current Giants. Did anybody reach out to you from the Giants this week being like, come on, man, why are you throwing shade? No, listen, 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 listen. I'm doing my job. This is a bad matchup. Styles make fights. You watch boxers all the time. I'm a huge boxing fan. Styles make fights, and this was a this was probably the worst matchup for them. I think I, I think I think uh, I think the Atlanta Falcons is a bad matchup for them because they can spread you out and they still have a strong, powerful running game. You're never going to be invited to any holiday parties for the Giants. 
I listen, I, I was never invited there before anyway. <laughs> I could care less. Listen, I'm comfortable with my skin. I listen, I, like I said, one boomer was like my last friend in the circle. <laughs> you know, I don't need any more friends in my circle. I'm good. <laughs> but friends like Boomer, who need more friends? <laughs> Well, I don't know what's going to be what's going to happen when you see Snacks Harrison. You guys played together on the Jets. What's going to happen? I mean, what's, what's going to happen? Well, I mean, listen, you don't have, you don't have to agree with every listen. When he was in that locker room, I'm sure he didn't agree with everything I said in the locker room. But you know, that's just that's just him being in football mode. He's in football mode. I'm not in football mode no more. All right. I mean, I see it. and I look at it totally different. He's still in football mode. We got to take on the world, try and win a Super Bowl mode. You know, I'm not in that angry, angry place no more. I just spit the hot fire. I keep it real. Listen, you don't have to agree with everything I say. When Monday, when when, when Saturday or Sunday comes, you have the opportunity to prove me wrong. I'm just giving you my opinion that this is a bad, uh, bad matchup, that this can be a tough, tough game for them. And if they don't win, I think that they have a way that they can spread them out and make the defense vulnerable. So when you see Damon Harrison, you're not going to say, like, Hey, man, what's up with that? You're just going to go about your business. Yeah, I don't care. Listen, I know where it's coming from. Really, do you think he played with Do you think anybody that ever played with me don't know who I am? <laughs> I but can't dude, imagine. Dude, no, you leave a mark. <laughs> dude's trade, tra dude trained with me. You know what I mean? We had the same age. Come on, man. Like, that's just him and his feelings. Because he thinks that I took a shot at him saying that he's going to have his mouth out, but he didn't listen to the whole quote and saying that, you know, that he can get stuck on the field and Aaron Rodgers can spread him out and go no huddle. He didn't hear all that. All he heard was snacks. So he felt like I took a shot at him. But it wasn't a shot. I was saying how the how the Packers can win and how the Packers can make it difficult for them. And that's how they can. They can spread them out and go no huddle. And you talk about 350-pound man, how many pass rushes do you think he has in him in an eight-play drive? And once you, once, you, once, you, once you tire out, once you go there, it's hard to ever catch your breath back. You got the you got the Packers by like ten points this game, say like twenty seven seventeen or something. No, I got them by like yeah, like that. Yeah, well that. You'll take could be thirty. Could be thirty. You said about ten. Aaron, it's Aaron Rodgers in his element, and you know you got a lot of young players that's going to have to step up and do something that they've never done before. A lot of those guys never been in the playoffs before. Like you said, it's a totally different monster. Sometimes you know when you get in the playoffs, teams can jump on you and you can't recover. And it's too late for you to go back and make the adjustments at halftime and catch back up. Easy win by the Packers in your mind. I don't think easy win. Ten, ten points isn't an easy win. It's a touchdown. Okay. It's a turnover or something and a field goal. That's not it. It's not a blowout. Are you going to say the same stuff coming up on Sunday on the NFL today? Yeah, listen. Listen, I don't duck or hide for any of my comments. I say what I say. And if I'm wrong, then I'll say, you know what, I was wrong. They got it done. But don't don't think I'm crazy because I don't think like everybody else thinks. That's why I'm me. You know, if we all thought alike, what's the use of having more people? <laughs> what's the use of having? What's the, what's the use of, We all should think alike. 